Today is the proclamation and ribbon cutting at the new Queen Anne's County Family YMCA. Two, one. Gosh, come on. In December of 2015, the YMCA of the Chesapeake announced that they had acquired Commitment Fitness in Centerville and would be converting it into the new Queen Anne's County Family YMCA. Now, today was really a ribbon cutting, so over the past four months we've been working hard to really transform this facility into a YMCA and a place that can truly make an impact in the lives of everyone that lives in Queen Anne's County. And so it's been a, a lot of work. Uh, a lot of our staff uh, have done some heavy lifting to make that happen. And Andy Cheesem and his team from Willow Construction donating their services to make that possible has just been wonderful. So this is kind of a culmination to a kickoff of what ultimately will be um, the next hundred years in Queen Anne's County. We talked to a few of the attendees about why it's such a great addition to Queen Anne's County. This has been a long time coming for Centerville and we were really, really fortunate that the Y was able to acquire an existing facility to jumpstart their program here in Centerville. The YMCA is, I think, more community-based. So it looks out at the community around here, is more specifically Centerville, and tries to attract families rather than just people that want to go to the gym. We just took a tour of the new facility here. We saw a child care area. We saw areas that they're going to have for uh, interactive video games. So a lot of things that are going to be more to promote the whole family. And I think that's uh, something that's very well needed and uh, has been needed for a long time here in Centerville. The special guest today was Comptroller Peter Francho, who was here to read the proclamation and hand out a few medallions. I give medallions to Marylanders who make a difference, and Sheriff Hoffman is a first responder. Very important. If, the, if we don't have good public safety, we're never going to have a good economy. And I just want to make sure all of the first responders and veterans know that we have their back and we appreciate what they're doing. The other medallion I gave to the YMCA because they're making a big difference in our communities. You know, just very encouraging to me as a state comptroller to see this type of philanthropy and public-private partnership flourish here, and I think it's going to be a huge success. The new facility provides a wide range of health and wellness, youth development, and outreach programs. Facility-wise, we're pretty much 95% there, just a few small things, but um, yeah, we're really happy with how it turned out. Our members have been extremely positive about it, and um, you know, the, the beauty of it is, as we've seen, a large influx of people wanting to come and get involved and not just in wellness-based programming but we have 50 high schoolers in a leaders club program that's built around developing leadership skills and job skills and our summer camp programming is on pace to have the most kids we've ever had and that's through a great partnership uh, with the Gunston School uh, and so I think that's one of the neat things about the community is so many people pulling together in the same direction whether it's city or county officials or state uh, state elected officials like you saw here today, uh, but also with other not-for-profits and service groups coming together to meet the needs of, uh, of our local community. For QAC-TV, I'm Mallory Drummond and thanks for watching.